cash, and batteries rule everything around us. You don't always see them, but they're definitely there. Every night, I plug in multiple devices to charge just so they'll get me through the next day, but most people have never actually seen the batteries inside their devices, have any idea of how they work, or know what to do with them when they get damaged or die. So what's in this tiny black case that allows it to power all your favorite devices? This iPhone battery, for example, is actually a tiny pack of volatile chemicals and metal separated by thin layers of non-conductive material. In Inside, you have positive electrodes, typically made of lithium cobalt oxide, and negative electrodes made of carbon, both of which are sitting in an electrolyte solution. When you plug in your phone, lithium ions are sent from the positive electrodes through the electrolyte solution to the negative electrodes, which allows the battery to store the energy for use. This is all controlled by some smart circuitry that regulates voltage, preventing overcharging and overheating. You really don't want to be face to face with the battery when that happens. But you can't keep recharging a single battery forever. You have to replace the battery in your car every five years or so, right? The same goes for electronics. Every battery has a lifespan, so batteries are essentially consumable products. The average iPhone battery retains up to 80% of its original capacity after 500 cycles. To put that into perspective, if you charged your iPhone every night for a year and a half, the battery meter would still read 100%, but your battery life would only last 80% as long as it did when you first got it. So you and your battery have hopefully lived a long and happy life together, but when it's time to say goodbye, how do you get rid of it? Do not, I repeat, do not throw it in the regular garbage. Mother Nature and the folks driving the garbage trucks will be real, real mad because batteries are incredibly toxic and have the potential to cause fires. If your battery is dead, but otherwise in good shape, you should take it to your local waste management or do a Google search for a battery recycler or drop-off location. You'll find one at most big electronics or hardware stores. If you've got a swollen battery, you should treat it before you drop it off. Just fill a bucket with some salt water using a ratio of one gallon of water to one tablespoon spoon of salt, drop your battery in it for a couple days, and let the solution discharge the battery. If you've punctured your battery, but there's no flame, you're very lucky. Place it in a steel bucket of sand until you can bring it to a recycler. If you've got a dying iPhone battery, you can get one of our complete DIY iPhone battery fix kits and swap it out in a matter of minutes. Just follow our step-by-step -step guide, use the recommended tools, and you'll be good to go. Happy fixing.